what is up guys welcome back to a new video here on the channel in this video i'll show you how to install scripthook v and scripthook v.net in 2023 so scripthook v is the framework that makes every mod for gta 5 work before you even think about installing any mod you need to have scripthook v scripthook v.net is the framework that makes you able to install scripts more uh, specifically .NET script, Map Editor, the Premium Deluxe Motorsport Dealership, Jobs V, these mods that you can see here, um, and 59 more pages. Um, so just go to the links in my description. Let's start off with the scripting V. Just go down here and where it says download, click download. Then go to the linked GitHub repository and scroll down and click under under downloads you click releases and scroll down and then you want to click um, you want to go to assets and you want to open this and you want to click the top one scriptv.net.zip open up your gta5 main directory which should look something like this we're going to start off with script hook v. You go you start by going into the bin folder and you take the input 8.dll and script hook v.dll and just drag and drop them into your root folder. Root folder is the same location in your game files as you have gta5.exe located in. And if you don't know how to find your gta5 main directory, it should be in Epic Games, GTA V or in Steam library, Steam apps, common, Grand Theft Auto V. Um, really simple to find. Um, now we're moving on to scriptv.net, and you want to take all the ones called script or everything except license.txt and readme.txt and drag and drop them into the same place. Um, so before we actually do that you want to create a folder called scripts here you'll put all of your dotnet scripts so just right click new folder and then you name it scripts in all lowercase because some mods require the, uh, the folder name to be in all lowercase the next thing we're going to do which might annoy some people or not doing this might annoy some people if you press i think it's f4 apparently it's f1 um the console key so you know a big console if you press a certain this key that is in here um and then there will be an annoying menu that opens up in game that we don't want to have so change whatever the console key is to none maybe you want that but for me i don't know any like commands you can use in there so i just set it to none if you want to get rid of that annoying console that i will show you guys once we're in game um, the reload key reload key um, is basically the key you press on your keyboard if you would like to reload all the scripts if some script has crashed you just click in my case insert and it will reload all the scripts if you don't have a um, full size or TKL keyboard, you can't use um, the insert button. You can change that to whatever you would like. Make sure to click file and save. Close it down. And now you can launch the game. Before we do that, I just want to show you guys one file here in the script hook v native trainer.asi. If you don't know what a trainer is, it's basically a mod menu. Um, where you can use some cheats. I don't recommend using this at all. It's I don't like it. It's it's bad. Uh, I recommend installing the mod called Menu, Menu, Menu. Um, I don't know how it's pronounced. And Simple Trainer or Simple Native Trainer, Trainer V, because they have m they are much better to use and the functions are much better tutorials on that is in the description if you would like to do that now i'll see you guys in game so we're now in game um and let's try it out uh, so the console i can't show it because i obviously disabled it didn't think that far 
But anyways, if you would press F4 or whatever that key would have been, there would have been a big console opening and that's just unnecessary. I will show you Trainer V or Simple Native Trainer. It looks like this. I love it. You got God Mode and some other things here. You can change your wanted level. We also have vehicle options. There's a lot of things. Also, to navigate in this menu, you use your numpad. Make sure numlock is enabled, and then you press 8 to go up, 2 to go down, 5 to enter something or select something, or toggle, 6 and 4 to switch pages, 0 to go back. So yeah, that's that. You have, what I love about this, and what I normally use it for is my add-on vehicles spawning menu here I have all of my add-on vehicles really amazing spawn in the Mercedes W13 um, this is menu so you press F8 to open it native trainer is F3 Also, the mod I'm using, you can see down in the right, where it says S and then a gear. That means sequential, and I have the manual transmission mod. Um, and you can also use a steering wheel with GTA, with that mod, which is amazing. Um, I have a video tutor tutorial on that, we'll leave the link in the description. But anyways, menu, so F8. You press F8, and then you press it again. We press it the first time you open it because it you saw that little notification over my minimap. Anyways, here we got a lot of options, and one of the things that I love is that if you press F9, you open what's called the object spooner. Using WASD, you can move around holding shift and you will go faster. And then if you hold with your mouse button, your left mouse button, you can grab uh, objects. Um, right click and you can open this object menu where you can change the thing for some things for it you can also rotate it and everything like that really nice I love it now you have the frameworks for modding GTA 5 another important tool to modding is OpenIV which is a program I also have a video tutorial for that link in the description thank you guys for watching I will see you in the next video goodbye